Hi YouTube, I had not originally planned to make a video on bleeding brakes from empty, but then I thought, what if people don't know how to? Hey guys, my name's Aaron from Built On Purpose. Uh, in this episode, I'm just going to bleed the brakes uh, for my Datsun 240Z. Uh, currently, I've rebuilt the brake system, which included new master cylinder, rebuilding the front calipers, rebuilding the rear drums. Uh, currently, the brake system is dry, it's empty. Uh, so, I've got to bleed it. Um, and in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how I go about that. Before I get into the content, uh, my channel's around uh, DIY Automotive, uh, and if we're meeting for the first time, have a look around the channel, uh, look at my videos, uh, consider subscribing, and if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, so before I start actually bleeding the system proper, uh, I'm going to get introduce some brake fluid into the system just to get on the seals, um, get throughout the, the brake system. Um, this master cylinder has never had any brakes brake fluid in it, so. Um, I always thought it was a good idea to get it flooded, so to speak, before I start bleeding properly. So before you just go throwing brake fluid in your car, it's a good idea to understand what brake fluid, what dot rating you need to put in your vehicle. Uh, in the case of the Statson, um, it's dot four brake fluid. Uh, don't go any higher, don't go any lower. Uh, the higher ratings are normally reserved for cars with ABS that need a different viscosity, and the ones lower are reserved for cars that are a bit agricultural. Um, so don't don't think buying, oh, I'll just go get 5.1 and throw it in my old Datsun. You'll probably find that that'll be detrimental to your brake system in its performance. Uh, so I love Penrite, so I'm just throwing a bit of Super Dot 4 in. Okay, dokes, um, time to top up the reservoir. So the front one in the Datsun is, well, normally the biggest one is the front brake circuit because it's got bigger pistons to push, more fluids to push, needs a bigger reservoir. So it's just a matter of topping it up. Uh, what I like to do is actually have a bottle, a half full bottle for this, or I keep a, uh, an empty bottle uh, that I top up to keep half full rather than trying to pour my fluid in from a full bottle because I always found that um, that, caused, that it would spill, damage the paintwork. So. That's just something I like to do because I find it easier to top everything up. So we just put some fluid in. Watch it for a bit. You can go see it going down, but it's a bit of a waiting game. Okay, so I'm over here at the front brake caliper. Uh, with the Datsun system, it is a front rear circuit. They're separate circuits, so uh, you have to bleed each one separately uh, but first yeah I'm priming the line so what I've got is a bit of tube that fits over the bleed nipple uh, you basically just push it on that's a good fit and dunk the other end in a reservoir of some kind of jar perhaps and what we will do is we will top up the master cylinder with fluid and keep an eye on it because we don't want any bubbles to um, make its way down and we just loosen this off a half <coughs> turn and just wait for the, the fluid to come out uh, once that done we'll do it on all four corners of the car and then nip it up and then come back and then we'll bleed the brakes I don't know if you can see that but it is going down you might be able to see the fluid line receding on the reservoir there, but you can see it's starting to get down pretty quick. I'll just nip this brake off, brake line off here. You can see we've had fluid starting to come through. So I'll nip this one off and go repeat the same for all four corners of the car. So it's onto the back circuit. I'll top this up with some fluid. Now if you are getting any value from this video, um, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. So my brake system's primed, going back and bleeding, it's virtually the same process as uh, priming the line, except um, what you want to make sure is the end of your hose is submersed in some clean brake fluid, and instead of waiting for the brake fluid to feed through by gravity, you pump it through with the brakes. Um, I found that to be the most effective way to do it on my own. Uh, you keep pumping it until the fluid that comes out of that tube, there's no bubbles in it or it's clear. Uh, sometimes, particularly with the um, 
uh, with with the rear brake circuit for the 240Zs, the lines go down and then up in the bodywork, then to the brakes. So there's often a bit of uh, brake fluid left in the rear circuit that you'll have to bleed out, which will probably come out quite cloudy. Um, once you've done that, nip everything up. You should have a very firm pedal. Rightio, so the brakes bled, the pedal's firm. I'm happy with that, um, but that's how I uh, bleed brakes. Um, I'm, I'm limited to uh, a solo routine. Uh, if you have your own way that's different or even better, uh, leave a comment for this video. Before this video ends, I'll get a plug-in for my own shirt. I've got a few designs. Uh, if you're interested in having a look, the link to the shop will be in the video description. If this video is valuable, smash that like button. Also, share it with someone else you might know. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.